I'm Jennifer Olson and this is a quick demonstration on how you can stretch watercolor paper on a gator foam board. So here I have a piece of Arsha's quarter sheet um, paper. This is a 140 pound cold press. It's been soaking in a tub of water, um, cool to lukewarm water for about 10 to 15 minutes. So it's quite pliable. When I first pull it out of the water, it's dripping wet. So here I have two sheets of blotting paper and I'm just going to lay my watercolor paper between, press down and that will remove excess water. Now I'm going to take my gator foam board. Uh, this one has been used many times and that's a great thing. You can use them over again and continue to staple into them. And I'm just going to position my paper on my gator foam board. Um, if there's any bumps, you can just lightly smooth them out. This is just a regular household stapler that I've opened flat and I'm just going to staple directly into the edges right through the paper and the gator foam board. Um, I'm going to go all the way around the outer edge. You can see a couple staples are not quite in. You want to make sure they're well pressed into the gator foam. Sometimes you even need to pull one up and redo it. I put my staples quite close together, about a finger width apart, so that the paper is really well adhered. and I would just continue going all the way around with the stapler. Um, at that point, you just wanna leave your paper somewhere to dry totally flat. Um, I suggest probably 12 to 24 hours before you draw or paint on it at this point. The whole point of doing this is to expand the fibers in the paper so that when they're held onto your board, they have nowhere else to go. They can't further expand. Um, what can be a problem is when you're painting wet and wet in particular and the paper is expanding and you get this buckling happening on the surface. So this will hold it nice and taut for you so that you can paint and not have the paint running into those dips or valleys in the paper. An alternate way of stretching is to use um, butcher's tape. It's also called gummed paper tape. And this product can be used instead of staples. So if you have a different type of board that is not as easy to staple into, like a, a wood panel, for example, the tape is a good option there. It's a little bit um, more time consuming and more difficult to remove than the staples. If you are gonna use the tape, you would have pre-cut your strips to the length of your board you'd probably need a little more overlap than what I've got here as well. So the paper would need to be um, probably about half to three quarters of an inch smaller than the board you're mounting it on. The tape would need to be dipped in the water. So you would dip it in a, in a bucket of water and then very lightly drag your fingers down the tape to remove excess water. At that point, you would lay the tape down on the surface and press quite firmly using um, some paper towel to blot the excess water up. And the tape would ha go all the way around with a strip. Again, you would just leave it to dry totally flat. Um, with the staple method, when your painting is totally complete and you're ready to remove it, you can actually just lightly pull up on the corner of the paper and the whole um, thing should lift up with the staples included. You can then just pick them out or sometimes I'll even just cut that strip of staples off if I wanna have a quick option. Um, if you did use the butcher's tape around the outer edge, the best way to remove it is to actually use an X-Acto blade and, and cut right on the seam where the board and the paper are meeting. 
So you would cut right through there all the way around and take your paper off. The portion of the tape that is attached to your watercolor paper should stay on or that could be trimmed off at the end. I wouldn't try to remove it by adding water um, because it will just buckle your paper. The whole point was to keep it nice and flat. The portion on the um, gator foam board or your wood board can be removed just by wetting a sponge. You can um, add water onto the, the dried tape and it will moisten it so that you can peel it up again. So that is my method for stretching paper and I hope it's helpful for you to keep your project nice and flat while you're working on it.